the pioneer yeah. so much history that's right the new documentary that's right is coming from our boy that's right robert samuels in the house how you doing my brother hey guys how you doing man appreciate you guys thanks for having me man wow appreciate that thank you so much oh yeah oh yeah oh we got some extras here there they are that's right that's right i cannot right. i had to play that opening trailer for that new documentary coming out had to play it. Our four films, son, represent. Yes. Represent. And I can't and wait to see that we, documentary we, we, coming we, out in the we, future, man. I cannot wait. Uh, when is that supposed to drop, uh, Robert? Uh, that'll be later in the year, sometime this year, 22. Uh, we're all going to kind of collaborate and get that done. So 
Just nice, wanted to, uh, yeah, it's That's gonna right. be great, man. And we're talking legacy. That's right, celebrating the legacy. That's right, actor, stuntman, martial artist. Y- y'all know who he is. That's right, Robert Samuels. And if you're in his good graces, you can call him Bobby. <laughs> That's right. That's right. But we have other legends from the industry here yes. today, hanging out with the samurai guy. I'm gonna click on them. We're gonna blow them up. That's right. Put them on the spot. They're going to say who they are, how they got into the industry, and their connection to this newest film, which we will debut the trailer here today. First up, we got Hector in the house. How you doing, brother? Uh, I'm sorry, Robert. How you doing, brother? Uh, Hey, how's it going? Uh, What was the order again? Uh, (laughs) Welcome to the the show, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And how how did you get into the industry, and uh, what's your connection to the film? Uh, I got into the industry. I went to NYU years ago, years and years ago. Uh, and then uh, while Bobby was in was in Hong Kong doing his thing, that's what I was doing. And then he came back. Basically, I picked him up from the airport, and we just started making movies, and we just never looked back. That was that's it. Thirty years ago. Yeah. And uh, as far as this movie goes. Uh, I came up with the story idea and I'm one of the producers. I'm in it. And uh, when I, when I came up with, um, you know, when Bobby and I came up with, with the idea for doing a project like this, you know, we immediately thought of Nick, Nick took the story. And when you guys watch the trailer, I'm telling you, it, it's, that's just a, just a tiny taste. A little slice. Uh, just, a, just a sprinkle of what's to come. All right, all right, awesome, awesome. Thanks for hanging out with the Samurai Gate uh, today, and uh, the director himself is here, Nicholas. Hey. Hello, welcome, oh. my friend. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Uh, so, uh, what is my connection on the film? I'm the writer, director, uh, producer, the editor, <laughs> <laughs> uh, all the other okay. hats. You can pretty much lay on top of me. They're they're pretty much mine. So yeah, that's where I'm at with this project. And my start in the industry. Uh, when did my start in the industry happen? I want to say my start in the industry happened when I was about 13. And my cousin, I uh, was over at my cousin's house and she came into a room and she was like, you need to watch this movie. And it was a VHS copy of The Evil Dead. Right. And All I right. watched that movie and I was like, I need to do whatever this is. I need to do that. Yeah. And, uh, and, and here I am uh, t- uh, yeah, 20, 25 years later. And I finally. <laughs> <laughs> you had me at Evil Dead. That's yeah. it. You're, you're family now. No, you're family. Family. <laughs> That's right. Evil Dead. That's, that's how we roll. Well, thanks again for hanging out today. Sorry. And uh, uh, mm-hmm. Mikey, wh- wh- what happened to Mikey there? Is he hiding? Don't be shy, Mikey. We'll wait till we'll come you're back the to center him. Square. We'll, we'll, we'll come back to him a little bit later. Let's go Bye. to the next one. There. <laughs> All right. Lewis, hey. welcome, hey, my guys. friend. Hey, how you doing? It's, it's nice to be here. It's, uh, it's, a, it's an honor. And, you know, I was a fellow fan also. And I'm All actually, right. I'm actually happy and excited that I'm I'm part of this. Uh, uh, very exciting moments. <laughs> so I say I say I started the industry, uh, couple you know years ago, <laughs> somewhat years ago. Uh, I started <laughs> off in my in my in my twenties. I would say in my uh, early twenties. I was I tried to you know did, did some extra and stuff like that and got to learn a few things here and there. Uh, then uh, from there it just went up to where. I met Nick. Nice. And then from there on, that was what I could say my true start of the career, where we were doing our own films and stuff like that in the side and all that, and just doing a bunch of shorts, you know, and learning, uh, teaching ourselves through experience itself, you know, like we just come up with ideas and, you know, shorts, and then we just like go at it. And it's like, Nick will come up with a comment, like, hey, I got this. Sure, let's go. (laughs) You know, I'm the yes guy. Nice, so and then nice. from then on, um, from there I got into I, I got into doing uh you know I, I met Hector along the way and stuff like that and then we just from there we, <laughs> we met Bobby and Bobby yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then it just it just grew from there you know we nice. it, you know aside also I do stunts um part of SAG and stuff um all right so you know thanks thanks to the the uh, people who are in the stunts before me they got me into it and you know thanks to them I had opportunities to you know be part of it. Be, be part of the industry hell yeah hell yeah and we celebrate that here on the channel all the time man 
Martial artists, actors, stuntmen, all that good stuff. Real, oh, you had something? Quick, go, uh, go real ahead. quick. Go ahead, Robert. Hector and Orlando were the assistant action directors on uh, Made in Chinatown. Oh, mm -hmm. all right. All right. There you go. That's what oh, I'm yeah. talking about. <laughs> and speaking of Hector here with the badass cyberpunk uh, <laughs> background we got going here. His, uh, first of all, before we get started, uh, tell us a little bit about your favorite movie of the year uh, last year, uh, Spider-Man. Uh, no way home. <laughs> you, you gave it. A, I heard you gave it a perfect score. The five on the letterbox app. Yeah. <laughs> Be careful. No, just messing with you, man. Welcome to the show, my friend. Oh, thank you. Well, thank you, thank you. Yeah, man. Um, Hector's yeah, mic is okay. shy. His, his, his mic is shy, so it's all right. You got to speak a little louder. Oh, okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, now we can. Okay. Oh well, no, thank you, thank you for having us here and uh, you know, and doing us and for us to to be on here. Um, yeah, no, I mean, I started, uh, I started kind of through martial arts because I, you know, studied martial arts since I was seven. So yeah, that led me into doing um competitions internationally, traveling. All right. Basically doing doing what uh uh a lot of the uh international martial artists at the time that were in the circuits john paul mitchell all these all these uh tournament circuit nasca and all that um who are now those same guys are all doing stunts and films and coordinating and all that stuff so i kind of started like that you know through my school doing little choreo stuff but i knew uh two actors who uh were good friends of mine and they yeah. were they were also martial artists and I did some choreography for their projects, and that led to uh, um, film festivals and stuff where I met other people, other filmmakers, and and it just kind of like grew from there, you know. And nice, along nice. The way I met Orlando, um, and I met Nick, and then we started doing stuff, and then I met other team YouTubers and team filmmakers, and then I met Bobby, and uh at the Urban Action Film Festival and uh, and Jefferson and everybody else. And it just kind of grew from there. And after that, we just all been working together on feature films, YouTubing, Instagrams and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, and you know, and, and we still do it. I just, I you know, I feel that um, that even no matter how high you get in the industry, uh, you should always go back to your roots and do stuff for the fans and stuff for the YouTube. And, That's right. Um, not to just not to put it out there, but a good example is a, a good friend of mine, Joseph Lay, who worked on um, Shang Chi. Actually, he was one of the action coordinator guys. Um, nice. And, uh, he he worked on that, and when landing that, I actually was having a conversation with him before he, he had landed that. But it's great because he just did a little YouTube thing with his YouTube team, you know based on on the stuff that he had did on on that project so I, I i appreciate the project because he you know he went from youtube he grew but he still yeah. went back to his roots to do stuff with his friends and i and i'm glad that all of us can do it we can we can grow grow make feature films work on tv and movies and still be able to come back to do youtube stuff to do podcasts with amazing people like yourself and oh. um well, thank you. And collaborate, man, and uh, and I think that I think that's great, and I think that's what keeps everybody humble to always go back to their roots, you know. But that's uh, right. That's you. well we're said. Fans of your work, and um, yeah, and you know, we we can't wait for everybody to see this project. Oh yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait to show it too. Yes. Uh, but thanks again, Hector. <clears throat> All those nice uh, words and compliments. I, I'm forgiving his review of Spider-Man: No Way Home. I'm, <laughs> it. I'm giving it a pass. We'll let okay. it slide. All right. Mikey. Oh, Mikey, yes, Mikey, 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 you're, 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 there he is. Welcome to the show, my friend. Thank you, thank you so much. I hope All right, the floor is yours. How did um, you get into the industry, and what's your connection to the to the film? So I've been doing martial arts since I was like maybe like ten years old, around that in Tijuana, and oh, honestly, wow. getting into the industry was mostly thanks to my people people country uh he actually knows i got into it because art camacho he made a seminar and uh before this i never knew what stunts were i never knew what any of that was i was just uh martial arts was the only thing in my mind and then so i just got lucky that i just knew people 
that were able to get me into it. So I got, I started off with Art Camacho and his um, seminar. He said that I was the worst of the worst, that I, I was like, honestly, I had no talent and was like that, but he, he kept pushing me on. He, he said that he saw something in me, and so he kept uh, mentoring me. And honestly, it was just thanks to him that I started getting to know everyone else. I, then I got to know uh, Bobby, and then from there I started meeting, like, legends, honestly. I didn't think this was going to be possible. I was meeting uh, Lomain, I think everyone like it's yeah it's, it's insane just like the opportunities i was able to have and um when was it uh i think it was yeah it was last year then that's when i met uh uh nicolas orlando jose who's not here um everyone hector it was it was it was so cool meeting so many people with so much talent and them being so humble to be able to teach me like it just imagine just thinking that i'm here just training in tijuana and being able to meet so many great people and just who had like the same vision, the same, like just that same passion, you know, it's, it's, it's insane. That's how I started getting into it. So, so now, like now it's starting to like starting to roll on. Um, hopefully I can get into, I'm going to get into another film, uh, sometime All right. this year. Okay. Yeah. So now hey. my things are rolling. So hopefully it gets mm-hmm. better and better. Yeah. Nice, nice. Thank you, guys. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm gonna disagree with Art Camacho. You're one of the best, Mikey. You're one of the best. <laughs> it was, it was, yeah. yeah. But it was thanks to him that he kept pushing me because honestly, yeah, I wasn't great. Like, he was, yeah, he was, he was, he was moving you up. Yep. Yeah. 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 I have, a, I have awesome. a feeling Art was probably giving him like tough love. Like he knew he yeah. was good. He just don't want to. <laughs> you know, he, he didn't want your head That's to right. blow up, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's all it is. Honestly, he knew you were good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, man. Let's all we got the movie dojo army. Uh, some of them in the audience here watching us. We got Jake Hall saying hello, everyone. That's right. Hey, what's, up, Jake? Jake? what's up, brother? What's up, Jake? That's right. You got uh, Thrash Pondo in the house Thrash Pondo. saying hello. Thrash Pondo. Right. What's up, brother? <laughs> How you doing, man? Heather saying what's going on to everyone. Heather. That's right. uh, she loved the music and the opening of the uh, documentary. Oh, documentary. Thank you. I appreciate that. Me, thank you. Thank that you. We played thank earlier. you so much. That's right. Oh, yeah. And uh, Mikey keeps popping out. <laughs> it's all good, Mikey. We go keep rocking and rolling. All right. So let's go ahead and have some fun here. And let's debut the trailer of Jugando Con Fuego. All of you watching right now, this is the first time you guys are gonna you guys are gonna see this. No one else is no one else in the world has seen this until right now. So we're gonna have some fun. Action packed. We got a retro yes. cereal in the house. What's going on, my friend? All right, let's go ahead and play the trailer, and then we'll do a little commentary afterwards. Mm-hmm. Let's go ahead and check it out. Here we go. El problema no es que nunca sepamos dónde se encuentra. El problema es que siempre sabemos dónde está ese cabrón. Tony Lobo es muy inteligente. Nunca anda solo. La chingona, la pelicoja, el guapo. Tú ya sabes de quién se trata. Con ese cabrón. Yeah. yeah. Step in my oh. copy. <laughs> Kills. Kills. What? What? Nice <laughs> and catching to keep slicing and martial arts, diving over the table, flipping backwards, bullets everywhere, revenge. Hey, that's all that's that's my shit. That's my shit. <laughs> like that. That's my shit. That, that trailer scratches. The action itch, baby. That's how we. That's how we do it. That's yeah, how yes. we do it. Uh, Thank you, brother. Who did first off? Before we watch it again, do a little commentary. Uh, first off, who did the music for this trailer? <laughs> who did? Who did the music? That was there was a YouTuber on who does he does uh, really great trailer music and okay. allowed us to use this particular piece. Oh, it's perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, it, it worked was perfect. Great. It's, it's wonderful. So it was just, you know, <laughs> it was yeah, exactly yeah. the right tone and everything. And I was just oh, like, man. 
And yeah, he, that's and why I got some of the chills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's good stuff. It's good stuff. Yeah. Uh, Retro Serial says, awesome. Thank he you. enjoys it right there. Thank we got uh, Thrash Pondo saying, epic. <laughs> that's right. Thank you. That's right. And uh, Retro says, looks intense. Yeah. Yes. This is my kind of shit, man. The revenge, <laughs> and I've mentioned a lot before on the channel, the revenge genre for me will never get old. Yeah. <laughs> it will never get old. And the and the cool awesome thing is with the revenge genre, it could it could it could be spread over other types of film genres, right? Mm -hmm. Like yeah. you could have yeah. you got the western, you got the samurai movie, mm -hmm. martial arts, kung yeah. fu. Yeah. Like it just works action. It just can be spread across. Yeah. And it's just samurai, I... samurai western kung fu. I mean perfect. That's yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. I, I think, That's it. I think, I think for myself um, having done a, a lot of movies over a, a number of years, <laughs> working in, <laughs> in Hong Kong, Europe, everywhere, um, this for, this film was uh, my first uh, lead as an actor. Um, and, uh, you know, I talked to Nick at length and uh, just wanted the character to be gritty and, and different than what I've usually done. Uh, as you know, my background is Hong Kong and working with Samo. Um, but we we could have did a we could have done a straight on action vehicle, but we wanted to kind of change the game up and do something different. So we kind of went out of our comfort zone, left this country, went to another country, and uh, it was an amazing adventure uh, to film this. And physically, I mean, this was probably one of my most challenging roles uh, to date. So yeah, it's 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 a throwback. You'll you'll like this. You'll like this. Oh yeah, I'm sold. I'm sold already. And uh. And talking about and speaking of working with Samo, which uh, Bobby has a lot of experience with working with a legend. Uh, quick shout out, uh, happy birthday to uh, yeah. Samo Hong, man! Yeah. Yeah. Happy, yeah. Birthday. Oh, happy birthday! I don't know who this loser oh. is standing next <laughs> yeah. to Samo. I don't know who that guy is. I snuck in there. Uh, you think he nice. got kicked out? The bodyguards kicked him out after that. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, shout out to Samo. Uh, Mikey might pop in and out. He's having technical difficulties, so when I yeah. see him pop up, I'll. Pop them in and out, but we'll keep it rocking and rolling here. Sure. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and let me uh, do a little screen share action here. And uh, we will watch the trailer again, do a little trailer breakdown and have some fun. And you guys feel free to add your commentary. Uh, uh, Robert, tell us a little bit more about the idea behind uh, Ugando. Um, well, Bobby and I were, were, were kicking around a bunch of ideas last year and uh he kept we, we kept going back to this thing where we kind of want to do like something man on fire like gotcha <clears throat> and we tossed we tossed a couple of ideas and like you said revenge the revenge thing came up and then i was like all right so what right. if you're like a, an ex-agent and this happens and that happens and you know blah 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 revenge right. all hell breaks breaks loose hand that off to oh Nick. yeah he's like hold my beer <laughs> and, goes, and goes in goes all the yeah. way in nice. so, yeah, he wrote a brilliant script he really did uh, he wrote a brilliant script mm -hmm. but yeah let's have some fun let's watch this again a little bit here uh I, I love the way the picture looks man like this looks legit the film quality yeah. Yeah. What, what was what was the motto what was the motto nick <laughs> Uh, what was the motto? Oh my god! <laughs> I have a couple of mottos. I was uh, the couple. One motto is "Good enough is not good enough." <laughs> <laughs> Your students made you promise. My students made the promise. Oh my god, that's right. The other one was "Don't make yellow Mexico." <laughs> right. Don't have don't have yellow Mexico, Nick. Whatever you do, I, yeah. My students at my job at NYU were like they I, they heard about this project. I was telling them about. It. I was getting ready for it, and they were like, Nick, whatever you do, do not make Mexico yellow. Just don't do it. <laughs> I just I'm loving I'm already loving the, the names here. I'm already loving Tony Lobo, yeah. the redhead, El Guapo. This is great. Just wanted to come up with like an interesting cast of characters to kind of put up against. Because you know, the the when I got approached with the idea, they had a name for the lead character already, which was James Forge, which is a really great, strong name. Yeah. Right. And I right. was just like, well, I gotta give the villains also kind of interesting uh personalities and names as well and you know when when the cast started rolling in that's when i was just like oh okay we're gonna have a character called chingona and she's gonna have bright red hair and then they were just like we got tora who's got bright red hair like fantastic yeah. and he's like Perfect, and then we need like, yeah. another guy who's very suave and slick it was like well we're getting jose manuel all the way up from puerto rico and he's a very tall very good looking man i was yeah. like waffle yeah. done yeah. 
that's it. <laughs> Boom. Oh man. Ooh, you got hit over yeah. the head there, Robert. Oh, it's Ooh. a it's a brutal scene. It's a it's a Ooh. very violent scene. You know, that's that actually scene. Mike. That's Mikey hit me over the head. That yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, there oh, he is. <laughs> Let's see here. Hold on. There we go. Mikey oh, right there. <laughs> yep. Oh, man. Oof. Yep. This was a real restaurant in Tijuana that we just went to. Armando, who plays kind of like the the the, the friend and confidant in Mexico, yeah. was such, is such a natural, great actor. We kept trying to find more stuff to put him in. Gotcha. <laughs> right. every time he was on on camera he just he just commanded your attention so and that was and just i thought it was great to, scenery, start the trailer, yeah. to start the trailer off with that bit that he has because it gives you everything you need to know about what this character is about to the character of james forge is about to go up against nice, and listen nice. and listen i tell you you know dialogue ain't my strong point <laughs> however like working with this guy armando he could memorize a full page of dialogue in a matter oh, yeah. of seconds I mean, it was he just did. amazing. Paragraphs, like five minutes. I mean, he, he paragraphs, had the five minutes. He had it contained, and he knew how to deliver. I mean, it's just, he was a natural. Right. And like He translated and, it to Spanish with his phone and memorized the entire yes. thing. Wow. Yes. Yeah, that's right. I right. remember that. It was that. amazing. Yeah. It really was yeah. amazing. Yeah. Like, he walked away for for like five minutes and I came back. We were, like, like it. we were like, uh, wow. you, you want to? He's like, no, no, I got it. What's up? And and then we were up. like. That's a professional. He sat down. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. He's, he's really like, wow. oh, shit, he's, really, he's nailing it. And he's yeah. nailing it. That's nice. the part That's the yeah. part that was crazy. Yeah. They're looking at me. Yeah. He's like, Nick, you want to go again? I'm like, no, we, we got yeah. it. We're, we got we it. can go. <laughs> <laughs> nice, yeah. nice. Uh, great shot here, Nicholas. Yeah, I, I was hanging out of the back of the bottom of a helicopter for that particular shot. Just, <laughs> like Tom Cruise style, like this. I got it. <laughs> You're running underneath it like this. That's it. Oh, These man. guys were safely on the ground. You got it, Nick. I can't hear them because of the engine of the helicopter, right? But I, right, I, I'm right. pretty certain they were cheering me on and not waiting for me to die. <laughs> and I, 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 gonna catch you. I'll tell you this. As you, as you can see from this shot right there, uh, Hector has a has a, a, a similarity to Samo Hong. Mm -hmm. ah. yeah. In Shao yeah, Black. yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Hey, hey, thinking about it now, oh, I I I don't think I would have wore that same thing to fight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, that guy needed to lose a little bit more weight. <laughs> I could barely breathe in that vest. But you look good. Like, you look dude, great. Dude, just, just, just unbutton it. <laughs> hey, you look. Hey, you look intimidating, man. Anybody, anybody want to fuck with that? Nobody want. Nobody, nobody oh, want he, none of he that. He performs phenomenally. Yeah, when you, really when you guys see it, right. he, he, really he performs does. phenomenally. It, it's not like, mind you, don't forget, he is a stuntman. Yeah. So he is doing his own stunts as he's acting. Right. So like, and right. it's and it's like any me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah, we can't find anybody that can move that that bit that can move like that. So, like, yeah. what moves you see him do, that's him. <laughs> uh, yeah, we Mikey was here... too small. We couldn't get enough padding underneath the, the clothes. <laughs> to make it work. We have uh, chat chiming in. Looks awesome. Hey, thank uh, you. Thanks, Dark Jay. Gable says, uh, I love this trailer. Can't wait to see this. Thank you. And, uh, Dark, you beat me to it. I was getting ready to say this. This is so well shot. And uh, oh, he you. also says, uh, shout out to Robert and the crew there. So we got some fans here. They're loving it. They're yeah. digging the trailer. They're Appreciate y'all. Thank you so much, man. Thank you guys you. stay with me. Thank you. But I love this uh, this this camera sway you got going here, Nicholas. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, this look this look like it's about to go down. That's what this look like. It's about <laughs> it's, it's the finale here. Like we about yeah. to. It's 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 been a long time coming. I had, I had wanted to channel my inner John Woo. For a very yeah. long time, and this is the project that yeah. kind of let me go for it. So I was, th I was doing things with the camera that I had never done before. It was like, all right, we're gonna just swing it this around this way. We can get this type of shot. And they're like, okay, cool. Yeah, phenomenal, <laughs> yeah. phenomenal. Let's keep it going. Justice. That's a great shot too. Yeah. Revenge. Ooh, ooh. See, it's that's ooh. You coming? <laughs> that's it. That's a wrap. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah I think some guys. He's Violence. not getting up. There's a lot of violence. And I'm uh, sold with that. <laughs> Woo! Oh, yeah. 
Oh, uh, yeah. great shot. Yeah. Love this shot. Thank you. Ooh, we got this is some more finale fighting action. It looks like we got here, man. Is, uh, now, yeah. right there. I love that. <laughs> Drop the knife. We got some knife fighting. She dropped the knife, caught it. Still going, man. Rosalina oh, this, is such a bad stuff with her. Yeah. And uh, her, uh, and, uh, her and Jose are great. Jose here. Uh shout out to both of them, of course. Mm -hmm. But uh what's their what's their background? Uh Hector, you can talk about Jose and I'll oh, talk Jose. about Roxy. What's Jose's background? So well, I mean Jose is like Puerto Rico's like right now is like number one action guy. He yep. uh I mean he's self taught martial arts actually. Oh shit. He's taught, yeah, he's self taught martial arts and parkour and like a lot of different stuff and he's self taught filmmaker. You know, he's a big Jackie Chan fan. So a lot of his work comes off like like Jackie Chan. You know, he's like a Latin version of Jackie Chan. So nice. But um but yeah, but everything he's done, he's taught, taught even right now he's working on a new project that he's All right. to push out that he's finished the script recently. Um but uh but yeah, I just like I know his style and I've worked with him. So like I knew I had to do something between her between him and and Rosalina because I know she from a project that uh, she worked with uh, Robert before, and I know she had a kung fu background with her, you know, with a uh, Sifu Santi and all these guys. Mm -hmm. So I knew like, okay, nice. hey, we can come up with something that's gonna make them look like a brother and sister combination yeah. thing going on with each other, and kind of like a tag team kind of style fighting. I was thinking of, and uh, and it worked. <laughs> it worked. Yeah, it uh, really did. There was some stuff that I wanted to do like with the knife. And uh, but we didn't have enough time, so I kind of came up with an idea with Nick. I'm like, hey, but what if this, if we did this, and then we use this knife, and then another knife, and then we yeah. make it look like this, and <laughs> yeah. like, the end result came out, and we were both like, dude, this is awesome. Yeah. Uh, nice. I, I love I love it here. It's like we got the two-on-one uh, fight here. But I, I like how he does the kick. And I love I like how Robert's like, fuck you, I'm throwing this on. He's like, yeah. he's like I'm, using, mm -hmm. I'm using everything. I'm you know, throwing I, everything. I, fuck it. I'm, I'm used to stylized action, you know, yeah. rhythm, one, two, 16 beats or whatever. But to yeah. be a little bit more vulnerable in the Bruce Willis mode uh, where I can get hurt. I can get hit. I'm not invincible. Yeah. I'm not stylized. It's 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 a gritty feel. It was a different yeah. approach to the action. Hats off to Hector and Orlando uh, for coming up with some some brilliant choreography. Each action scene that happens in the film has its own motif, and I think that's where the audience will have a, have a have a have a great time and a great ride with this film. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. We were trying we were trying to capture to capture like the gritty the grittiness. Like we were like. You know, when we were all planning this out, we were like, all right, so let's let's do this, this and that. And then after we read the script, we were all like, oh, wow, this can't be, uh, you know, the same thing as everybody as, as a lot of other movies, like very Kung Fu, -y, even though the skills are there. We were like, mm -hmm. let's stay, let's stray away from it. We right, we right. use the skill to enhance the grittiness. Right. Gotcha. And, and so then when we were while we weren't, you know, doing the moves and stuff like that. Me and Hector were tweaking. Like Hector was coming up with some moves, and I was in the back looking at, and I was like, "Okay, so try this, this, and that." And then he would be like, "Oh," and then we could, and we just went from there. It's like how me and Hector do. We just canvas everything. <laughs> he would he'd come up with a move like this, this, and that. I'm like, "Oh yeah," and then I'll be like, yeah. "Depending, my thing is depending on how it how it's gonna look on screen." I'll be like, "Oh, okay, so dirty it up more," and he'll be like, "Oh, like this," and then I'll be like, "Oh yeah, right. well, let's do this," and then he'll he'll add, and we just come come up with these things. And our job was to keep it. Um, very gritty, very um, more towards the, the the story how it is. You know, we didn't want it to shy away and people people get distracted by how beautiful everybody could fight because everybody there has skills. Let me tell you right now, like if you wanted to do a kung fu movie, you got you it with have. all of those that, that entire cast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but we we stood our ground saying let's mm -hmm. not let all of our egos kick in and be like, no, mm -hmm. it's about the film. So then we were like, mm -hmm. okay, let's stay away, let's stay within the film. So as gotcha. it was going and rolling, you know, yeah. we, we we tweaking. We'd be like, mm, it looks too clean, so we'd dirty up a little more, and be like, ah, there it is. And then, nice. <laughs> you know, a lot Bobby. of times it was like, you know, it's a chair, use it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like that though. Use what's around. That's Orlando right? right there, going yeah. through the table. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. okay. I was gonna ask Bobby to take that bump there. Yeah, Orlando, no. shout out to Orlando. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god, that's Orlando. No, yeah, oh. that's him. Oh. That's <laughs> some incredible stunts in this movie. Yeah, some great stuff.
Some yeah, of yeah. Like and I mm. and I do think that the, our Hong Kong fans will appreciate a certain part of the film because we did give homage uh, to that genre as well. Hey, that's what I, that's what I'm talking about. Yep. Mm-hmm. Nice. Let's keep it going here. Ooh, ooh. That's yeah, a hard fight. To, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm spoiled. I'm trying to reconstruct everything, but then I'm like, I gotta go see the movie still. You know what I mean? Like I'm trying to figure it out. Knife fighting, brawling. Oh, another bump. Is that Orlando again? Took that bump. <laughs> no, that's Forge. That's Bobby. <laughs> oh, it's Bobby. Yeah. Oh, boom. Oh, Bobby. yeah. <laughs> There, Bobby's there. like, I've been here before, man. I yeah. know what's up. No wires needed. <laughs> no wires needed. Yeah, that's no it. Work. That's it. No Hector, just work. throw him against the pillar. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, man, um, how long yeah, did it we take to for... uh, do the, fin- the finale fight, Nicholas? Um, you know, we were going for like a grounded, you know, it was a brawl. It's, it's two men who have, it, by the time they, they finally kind of come face to face at this point in the movie have, have grown yeah. to absolutely hate and detest one another. They've, 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 they've each been, bur- been hurt by the other and, and, you know, previously, you know, and, you know, stuff like that prior to the actual movie itself. So it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just that, you know, it's, it's just two kind of caged animals at that point. And so that was the point of putting them in this kind of enclosed space. With all this kind yeah. of raw, exposed concrete yeah. and, brick and everything like yeah. that, we Love wanted it, we wanted, we wanted the environment that. to kind of to 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 match the uh, the intensity of the fight. Like it's like it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a, it's a cage fight. It's basically like an, you know just yeah, yeah two, two animals in it in a, in a in a ring just going at each other, I, and I, only yeah, one I'm is definitely walking. Sold. I'm sold. Where 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 do I where do I uh, pay for the Blu-ray? Let's go. I'm sold, man. I'm sold. People throwing. <laughs> Body slamming up against pillars, knife fighting, mm-hmm. martial arts, gun shooting. I mean, come on. Oh, this table the, slams. The camera guy is there. This is my world, it's man. Yeah. Yeah. All, all that no. was needed was for me to be in the movie to get killed in five seconds. Then that would have been. <laughs> and I, I think, I think the, I think what the, uh, we all have our own film groups and uh, we all do our own projects, but to actually, you know, kind of join together, uh, feel comfortable with each other enough to leave America, go to another country for yeah. a, a, yeah. a long time uh, and film this. It was amazing. It, it was a, it was a test to see what we could accomplish as a, as, as a, as a unit. Uh, yeah. And I just, that, uh, I hope that we showed independent filmmakers that there is another way that you don't right. always have to be a slave to the system. Exactly. Um, that you know that's right we are the system there you go today. yeah yeah that's yeah. awesome man all i mean that's what it's all about at the end of the day right being creative getting together using yeah. you guys combining you guys as awesome yeah. talents to give us entertainment and we also and that's why and, we support it man and we also we also show the beauty and luster of tijuana yeah because tijuana gets a bad break you know oh it's a bad location. No, it's a bad place. to crime. It's actually no, pretty nice. It's a one. It's a wonderful place <laughs> right? with such yeah. wonderful people, and I just yeah. think it gets a bad rap. And we consistently try to bring the film business alive in Tijuana. And yeah. I think that with this, we we yeah. really we really went one hundred on this one. Bobby and I have been traveling down there since what 2016, 2015? Yeah, yeah, and. Uh, we, we keep going back because it's so awesome. We, we've made a handful of shorts with, with those guys down there, which is how we knew what Mikey could do, which is how we knew what, what um, Tora could do. And so we, we wanted to bring some other, like, talent, some other talented filmmakers down there, and these guys trusted us. Like, that's that's the part I thought was amazing. They were like, yeah, say less. All right, good. Let's do it. Buy tickets. Get shots. Grab, grab a, uh, you know what I mean, your your passport and and come on down. And then they got there and they were like, "Yo, this is this is actually very cool." We were like, "Yeah, this is what we're trying to tell you." Yeah. Like, T one yeah. is dope. Yeah, the words like, don't 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 match. It's it's like it's not enough to describe. And then they were like, "You'll see." We're like, "Okay." Right. That's all we kept saying, right? You'll see. Okay. And we show up and they were like, "Oh," and they're yeah. like, "Huh." Huh? Huh? <laughs> I think I was more nervous yeah. about about getting you guys to trust me because I was just like, I mean, Robert Samuels yeah. worked with like Samo and Colin right? Cho, and, and I'm like, <laughs> now and I'm just, 
I'm just the kid from the Bronx who wants to make movies and shit like that. So it's just like, yeah. ah. <laughs> hey, I, I promise you, I won't do you wrong. And you're know, like, okay, cool. And then we got down there, and they were, yeah, was, yeah. If yeah, you mess I, up, we'll, we'll just kill you off screen. Yeah. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I think, I think the, the visual palettes. Uh, I think the audience will appreciate the story, the the action. Uh, it's a thrill ride, and it's a fun movie. You know, I think that you know people tend to go into looking at films these days with expectations. Sometimes right. you should just let loose, live vicariously through the characters you see on screen and just forget your day-to-day -day problems and just take the thrill ride. And that's what yeah. we're hoping this time around that people would just enjoy. I mean, this is different than anything I've done. Uh, I am the lead, I'm not co-star, I've been co-star for 30 years. So this is yeah. uh, this is my moment and I hope the audience appreciates it. Well, it's well-deserved. Well deserved, Robert, for sure. And we can't wait to see it coming out this year. Make sure you guys look for it. Uguano con fuego, son. Fire, yes. action, shooting, martial arts, suspense, thrills, and spills, and and some chills. That's right. It's all there. That's right. Support independent filmmaking, man. It's keeping filmmaking alive, baby. That's right. That's right. I, and I, I, I can't I wanna, wait to see. Oh, go ahead, Robert. Go ahead. I, yeah, I want to give a special shout out to the because I mean, you know. Behind us, there was a force also uh, that helped us achieve everything we needed. And I think that it's important that we have to give thanks to those individuals, you know, uh, Flora, one of the local producers, uh, mm -hmm. James and Jason Santi. 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 Uh, Santi yep. Yeah. Um, thank you Mikey. all. Our, our, our U.S. based producers, Mark Wiley from Made in Chinatown. Uh, mm -hmm. Catch it on, Mikey. Of course, uh, also Tiari Cassell. Uh, we had a we had a number of people behind us that helped support us and get us here. Uh, and, and they're the still behind, they're still the B team. Oh, like, Angel, the B -team. Angel, 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 and they kicked ass, so yeah, they you kicked it, it, you're gonna great. love it. Ooh, I, man, I wish Mikey was still in the live stream because I would still be heaping mountains of praise on him and and Gachetón. Yeah. Those were like two of the best <laughs> crew members I could, a guy could ever ask for. Like honestly, yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I was looking for him throughout the whole stream, but he's not popping in and out. So. Yeah. He's having issues. It's all good. It's all it's good. All it was good. Great. It's all At good. least we had him for a couple of minutes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We had him on here. Uh, but yeah, I can't wait to see the movie. Robert, you are the man, the myth, the legend, the showstopper, the icon, uh, the main event. But everybody else oh, here, thanks. you guys are legends oh, you, also. That's right. That's right. Can't wait to see Hector throw down. That's right. Shout out to everybody here showing yes. respect. Thank That's you. right. Appreciate anything you. you'd like to say. Uh, we'll, we'll, Robert had his say. Let's 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 go to Lewis. Lewis, anything you'd like to say to your followers? And uh, before uh, we wrap it up for today. Okay. Well, I want to say uh, thank you, thank you, and everybody. You know, for following, and uh, hope everybody likes what we what we did. We really put our heart into it, and we have plans for more. This is just the beginning, and we have big expectations for ourselves and and also um bigger goals and just again i want to say thank you to everybody and you know those who have followed us all these years and those who are now new to following us you know we're not done yet it's just the beginning love it love it love it all right oh i go next um <laughs> yeah like i have to springboard off of what uh orly said uh, and and add this what you see on 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 screen here is a labor of love. We got down here, and the the camaraderie and the and the the the, the, the professionalism, the filmmaking prowess, all kind of it, it it blended in such a way that days would go by, and we were like, oh, damn, that that was how come how come it seemed like it wasn't that hard to do all this stuff that we had laid out here, you know? Because because we had moments on set where I, I had a thought. And I go, Nick, maybe you should. And I look at the camera. Oh, here, here, here I did that. And, <laughs> and I'll be like, yo, we, we got this done over it. Nick's like, yep, I saw it. Like, where, where is he? I don't even see Nick. <laughs> but he knew. And it just rolled like that. And I think what 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 came out of it is going to show on film. And I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. Nice, nice. Copy that. And our villain here. Uh, <laughs> villain. Um, yeah, uh, I hope everybody enjoys the film. I hope everybody enjoys the trailer. Um, 
you know, this really was like a collaborative project uh, between everyone, you know, um, you know, as an independent, uh, you know, all of us being independent filmmakers as well as professional filmmakers that, um, you know, uh, we, we went down there, like I said, a collaborative project. This isn't a project that we, any of us are getting paid. We put our own heart and soul and money into the project and, um, you know, to get it done, I, and I, we really hope everybody enjoys it. Um, it's definitely something that uh, veers off from what we're used to. You know, like you got Robert coming from more of a Hong Kong style. I like doing a lot more martial art action style. Um, but this is a little bit more grittier, more uh, more brawly, more you know rough, and uh, in the action. And um, for some people, they probably do this all the time and do all these kind of films and blockbuster films and all this other stuff but um for us it's uh you know we're working we've been working ourselves up to that stuff and but we always come back to the independent stuff because it's it's a uh, it's our passion and when you're passionate about something it's not about the money it's about the love of the craft and if you work on your craft you'll just get better and better and better and uh, we appreciate everybody who's followed us who supported us who even to this day help us out with whatever with whatever little things you know that they can help us out with um we appreciate you know their hard work and and their help um because you know it takes a team a really good team to um put something together uh passionate wise and uh and and put it out there for entertainment for for people to love and um <clears throat> we just hope that this also opens up doors for many other people whether it's stunt directing action editing you know, martial arts and all that stuff. And um, especially being out here, a part of uh, the New York stunt community and filmmakers. And um, <clears throat> it's it's always good to uh, show that we, we have talent, a lot of talent out here that don't get, uh, don't get the opportunities that uh, some other people don't because, you know, those people don't, you know, they don't get a chance to be out there putting it out there the way, you know, people, people supposed to do you know it's uh it, it's 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 a crazy crazy filmmaking world but um you know i'm glad that everybody's gonna enjoy it appreciate it and um yeah we have a lot more stuff coming up for this year even through covid and all this stuff nice nice we're definitely writing yeah. scripts we're definitely writing a lot of things and we're gonna be filming a lot more and uh we can't wait to show everybody nice nice and I can't wait to see you throw down as the villain, Hector. I can't wait to see that. And, I, you know, Hector's such a good uh, method actor that, you know, he's still in character as the villain. Because when he showed up today and said, you know, he hated the new Spider-Man movie, I was like, ah, oh, let's see what he's doing there. Huh? He's still in character. All right. <laughs> Look, that's yeah, how the whole I'm, I'm story you, of Donald Cubago starts. It's the James Forge yeah. catches wind of uh, Tony Lobo's feelings of Spider-Man No Way Home, and it's just like, <laughs> like continue to exist. <laughs> Nicholas. Oh man, what do I have to say? Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Preston, for having us uh, here tonight. Oh yeah. Thank you again. Uh, I feel like if, if I, I have to be the one to do this, thanks, mom and dad. <laughs> thanks mom and dad yeah thanks mom and dad love you um no i'm i'm happy that people are very excited about it we we were very excited in the months of prep that we spent you know getting everything ready and having to do it during covid uh during the height of all of it too uh which is kind of crazy uh and then the, you know then to the wonderful uh crew uh down in mexico who has supported us all those guys are amazing uh and then everyone here in this chat was you know was it truly was uh, a bonding experience for all of us. We walked away. We we went. We had to go back home. It was like we were happy to be back home and you know back in our in, in, in our hometowns and back in our beds. But at the same time, we felt we were leaving a part of ourselves behind. And I think that's a good thing. Uh, and sure. when you see when you see the movie, you'll see that we put everything we had on the, on on this one, yeah, and nice. we'll continue to do that with every project that comes in in, in the future. Love it, love it. Damn, and, well uh, said. One more, one more time. <laughs> Anything to your followers, Robert? Uh, just um, thank you all. I greatly appreciate it. You know, this has been a long ride for me. Uh, the Lord has blessed me where I can, you know, continue to still do what I do. Um, and I just hope everyone will appreciate what we what we all set out to do with this film. Um, stay on the lookout. We'll keep you abreast as to uh, 
when the film will be released. Uh, I know it'll be the uh, first quarter of uh, 22, so look forward to that. It'll be on uh, multiple uh, streaming platforms, and uh, we need your help to, uh, to kind of get this out there. So thank you, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, Samurai Guy and the Movie Dojo Army, we're already on board. We're going we gonna to see it. We're going to share it, all that stuff. We still got comments here popping up. Oh, like Thresh Pondo saying that knife move was slick. <laughs> you know, you know, there you go. Heather says uh, that picture quality is amazing. Well done. And giving the flex emojis. That's right. Oh, nice. <laughs> Thank wait. you. Thank you, Heather. There you Thank go. you. There you go. Greatly appreciate it. Oh, that. man. Well, the, again, the honor is mine uh, to have everybody here uh, hanging you, out Preston. with Samurai Guy. And like Greatly we say to all it. our guests, like we say to all our guests, make this your second home. And I really mean that. Come on back anytime, you guys. You guys are always welcome here. Yeah. Hey, well, I All tell right. you what. I tell you what. You, 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 I think Hector is a candidate for versus. That's all oh, I'll yeah. say. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, all right. I think, I think Hector's a candidate for versus. Okay. Uh, do you know about versus or series we got on the channel, Hector? Uh, no, no. Um, so we put uh, two movies against each other and we debate and we vote which movie's better. <laughs> Oh. There you go. There we go. Yeah, it, 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 that would be kind of fun. There you go. Spider-Man <laughs> Spider No Way Home and the Fourth Matrix movie. There you go. Oh. 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 That's not even fair. I'll, 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 I'll back. dissect both those points that people will just hate me. Hey, hey, it sounds like fun, though. It sounds like fun. We'll have to get you on to some future episodes uh, for sure, Hector. Uh, Dark Gable says... Um, Dude, I am on board. I am telling everyone about this. That's right. Oh, thank, thank you, Dark uh, Cable. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thank Thrash you. says, uh, we'll be so watching for it. So there you go. And oh, uh, wow. as well as uh, uh, your documentary. That's right. Oh, thank you. Uh, coming thank out. You. I can't wait yeah, to yeah. watch that, too, and hear those classic stories. Yes. All right, guys. Thanks again for hanging out with the Samurai Guy. Thank all of you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Support our four films, son. That's right. Films, support. Deviant Children Productions, T1 yeah. Takes, Swashbuckler Studios. Yeah. All in the house. Word to your mother. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and thank you, uh, Preston. Information. Oh, yeah. Hey. hey, it's an honor to have you guys. Uh, don't forget the information uh, to our four films and all that stuff is in the description box below of the video. Uh, yes. All you badasses in the stream, don't go anywhere yet. But thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more awesome content in the future. Take care, guys.